So PayPal recently attempted to introduce a new policy update where they would pull $2,500 from users' accounts if they promoted misinformation. Well, that's a pretty mask off moment if you ask me. But they seriously scrambled to get the mask back on once the public realized that they were trying to do this. I mean, to begin with, $2,500, that's a ridiculously large amount. In fact, I'd argue even $10 is too much. $1 is too much. And second, who the hell made PayPal the arbiters of what is and isn't misinformation? As I've said many times before, the word misinformation these days is thrown about like in Chernobyl, where the reactor exploding was misinformation. The total radiation levels were misinformation. It goes against our approved expert class, therefore misinformation. And of course, if you didn't have $2,500 sitting in your PayPal account, which most people don't, they'll dip into your bank account and will probably send you into your overdraft. Who gave PayPal the authority to be the arbiters of misinformation? Because I certainly didn't, and I don't think anyone here did either. Who gets to decide what information is incorrect? Financial services company, which has repeatedly deplatformed organizations and individual commentators for their political views, will expand its existing list of prohibited activities on November 3rd. Upon the changes are prohibitions on the sending, posting, or publication of any messages, content, or materials that promote misinformation or prevent a risk to user safety or well being. Users are also barred from the promotion of hate, violence, racial, or other forms of intolerance that is discriminatory. I would say good luck enforcing that because I don't think there's a single person on earth that hasn't been guilty of doing something silly at some point in their life, even in the context of joking. But frankly, I don't even want to see a financial services company attempt this, which is already what happens in China. If you do something against the government or do not toe the line, you lose access to financial services as well as public services. As I said at the beginning, they attempted to do this and there was a lot of backlash. So much so that Elon Musk got involved. PayPal says policy to find customers for misinformation was an error. Bullshit! Does anybody actually believe this? Yeah, it was just a mistake, guys. <sighs> Don't know how that got in there. Never mind this was most likely written out by a bunch of lawyers and, you know, it's several paragraphs long. It's detailed, it's been copied and pasted clearly. Going into detail explaining what you can and cannot do and all the rest of it. <sighs> how on earth did this get in there? Absolute bullshit. You only retracted it after a bunch of businessmen as well as Elon Musk came out and said, that's kind of bad. Even the former president of PayPal, David Marcus, spoke out about this on the Twitter. It's hard for me to openly criticize a company I used to love and gave so much to. But PayPal's new AUP goes against everything I believe in. A private company now gets to decide to take your money if you say something they disagree with. Insanity. Agreed, Musk wrote. Is it still a private company and can it do whatever it wants, guys? Because I know there's a lot of you that like to use that term. Orwellian. PayPal reserves the right to take your money if you post a message that PayPal decides is misinformation. Former FCC Commissioner Brendan Carr said. The misinformation police are now extending their reach beyond your social media accounts and into your financial accounts. Author and entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy said. But who is accountable for this? Who wrote that? Is anyone going to get sacked for that? Is anyone going to get punished for that at all? Probably not, is the answer to that. Never mind it's probably cost you billions of dollars and your stocks fell by like 6%. And of course nobody is going to get fired for this because this wasn't an error. The only error that happened was that you did it too quickly. Give it a couple of months or a year and you'll try and sneak something like this in again, but it would be worded differently. You thought you had the power to do this and you were surprised by the backlash, so you backtracked on it. Just the sheer audacity to try and have such an overreach over people's finances. I don't blame people who do not trust banks at this point. I really don't. So I don't know about you guys, but after... I've uploaded this video, I'm going to cancel my PayPal account because frankly, I don't trust them to hold my money. I think it's time that payment processors and to a lesser extent banks are reminded that we can pull our money out of you. We simply won't use you. If you're going to start trying to control us and control our money, because that's how you control a society, once you control the money, which is why I've repeatedly criticised central banking digital currencies. I don't want anything to do with you. And I don't think anybody should. So yeah, I'm closing down my PayPal account. And apparently I'm not the only one because delete PayPal searches have risen by 1,400% after the policy announcement. And just as you'd expect, how to delete PayPal started trending on Twitter.